In this video, we're going to look at how we could factor 4x squared plus 56xy plus 196y squared. We have lots of different factoring strategies that we can employ to factor a problem. And the important thing is to keep in mind which one to use when. Always, the very first thing we should think about when factoring any problem is the greatest common factor. Looking at this problem, we see there's a greatest common factor of 4. Factoring out the 4, we're left with x squared plus 14 xy plus 49 y squared. Once we've done the GCF, we make our next decision based on the number of terms in the problem. 1, 2, 3 terms. When there's 3 terms, we start factoring using the AC method. Here, we multiply to 1 times 49, or 49, and add to the middle number, which is 14. There are not many combinations to try, and we quickly stumble on 7 times 7 is 14, or 7 times 7 is 49, and 7 plus 7 is 14. What's interesting about this is we also notice that we have a match. When we have a match, we stop everything, because that stuff is going to factor to a perfect square. As we do, don't forget that GCF is still in front. To factor the perfect square, we take the square root of the first term, which is x, the sign from the middle, plus, and the square root of the last term, 7y. We now have factored this polynomial to 4 x 4 times x plus 7y squared. We could check to make sure this is the right answer by multiplying this out. We would do the exponents first according to order of operations. Squaring it, we square the first term, x squared, plus the product twice, 7 times x times y is 7xy, and another 7xy is 14xy, plus 7y squared is 49y squared. Distributing the 4 through would complete our check, giving us 4x squared plus 56xy plus 196y squared. Notice this is exactly what we started with. This tells me we've got the correct answer. Factoring, keeping in mind the correct steps and order, we first factor the GCF. Next, because there were 3 terms, we used the AC method, which helped us recognize the perfect square.